Aloha, and this is Taj with Transformational Tea with Taj, KKCR Hanalei, KAQA Kilauea, and I'm sitting in for Gabi and Shift Happens. This is Transformational Tea with Taj, and this program is made possible by listeners like you. is Sasha Butterfly with May I Be Strong.
Aloha and welcome again to Transformational Tea with Taj. Today I have another guest and his name is Marco Misinato. Marco Misinato. And he is a wonderful man that's come from Italy to Los Angeles and now to visit Kauai. And he's a composer, a musician, and a healer as well. And we are really happy to welcome you, Marco, here to Kauai. Okay, you're on the air now. Oh, okay. There we go. Aloha, Marco. Aloha. And we're listening to Marco's music in the background, and we also are going to play um, a couple of the cuts from his six CDs that he's done. He's done really beautiful music. Um, it goes in many directions, from meditative and, and inspiring to uplifting and expanding into a world progressive style. We were kind of coming up with a name because he doesn't really fit in any of the niches. He's um, much bigger than that. And so I'd like to welcome you to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. So I want to ask you a few questions yes. today. And the first one is what inspired you to, to really do your music? Because I know you've done many different things in your life and this is not your first. Yes. Well, uh, more than an inspiration, uh, originally it all started with a longing the longing on, 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 on going back home. Uh, I remember when I was very, very little, like maybe two years old, three years old. I already had that longing, um, which is really not very, very well explainable in 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 a three-dimensional world. But it's something that the heart is longing for and it cannot find. And uh, for me, um, at the time, uh, I would find release from that longing by expressing that sensation through music mm. so uh, and that that was the beginning of my relationship with music uh, which uh, I don't recall exactly when first I heard music but music always would have taken my breath away mm -hmm. literally I mean it, w it, would, it would be like something from another space or from another time so that's how I begin to express myself musically um, How old were you when you began to play music? To play an instrument, maybe five years old, six years old. Uh, my play is a big word. Playing, I, mean, I was just touching, it's sometimes even touching the instrument, not even playing, just touching, or just being close to the, in, the instrument would, would create that, that uh, experience of feeling melodies, uh, of hearing melodies. Like actually, I don't hear melodies. The, the melodies happen. Mm -hmm. It's a very mysterious uh, process that is not really explainable. Mm -hmm. it, it just happened. And it's, it's accessible to everybody. In my personal physical experience, it's expressed through sound. And in other people, it might be through pictures. Of my own. Everybody has different mm -hmm. fingerprints. Right. Yeah. So what instrument did you begin with when you did really begin playing? Well, um the piano but I remember um, my mom who, who was very sensitive to my my directions uh, noticed I guess consciously or unconsciously she noticed that I, there was something about music that really and so she started to give me a little little tiny flute and I started with this little tiny flute and I was spending hours and hours to, on playing those three four notes that were available for me and then um, and then when I uh, the piano the piano was certainly uh, something that was really very very exciting for me and so i remember the first three four years um i wasn't able to play both the no the group of notes if you notice the piano has black and white notes mm -hmm. and i could not blend the two world it was either all white or all black <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and then one day i discovered by accident and by the way everything happened always it felt always hap happened by accident that i could actu actually blend the two world and so a new uh, a new a new world opened up in terms of melodies and so it was interesting and and when did you go from what whatever you were doing in your life yeah and to this being able to compose and, and do music as your life? I, I don't know. I didn't... 
Did you always do I that? I didn't have that, that kind of perception that, uh, okay, now I've been doing this and now I stop this and I start to do this. It, it's all a journey and I don't divide it in compartment. I notice that most, most of, of other people, they have a job and then they have a life and then they have... I, I, just, I just things keep happening. So I didn't uh, have an official opening <laughs> of my <laughs> musical career. It just, it was there, it always been there and it, it might keep being within me or it might, it might uh, you know, expand. I, I don't know. It's really, that's not my business, really. My business is stay, is to keep uh, doing it because it feels good. Mm -hmm. And you have produced, or well, you have six CDs of your own. Yeah. Right? Yes. And um, they're all different. Can you tell us Maybe tell us a little bit about what what they're about. Are they different? Are they similar music? Or they each have a different theme? Yeah, they have. Um, well, uh, there are different layers uh, it, to have a, my relationship with a melody, which is something that happened through me. I, I don't even take credit if uh, about it. It's not me. It's not music by Marco. It's just music. That came through Marco but it's not really me <laughs> that is doing it <laughs> uh, this is not about me really yeah. at all the, but higher, the uh, higher approach to to receiving yes so um, well uh, there are different layers of, of evolution in a melody the first it comes in pure form is just s notes a, simp a, a sequence of notes which makes a melody and then from there, there is uh, it's like a child that is naked and now you want to put clothes on. And based on what kind of clothes you put on, it, it, it becomes production. And so there are different layers uh, of production. So at this stage, at this moment of, of my career, what's happening is that I have produced uh, um, uh, the first... Uh, layer production which is in the form of, of uh, meditation music which will soon uh, eventually get to a point of uh, where it will be a live concert and that's where there will be much more dynamic in, in the experience well we're listening to some of your meditative music right, right now yeah. what is this piece called? I, can, I cannot hear it, I'm sorry Oh, okay. we'll, we'll find out what that is later okay. So we're going to listen to this for just a moment. That was a piece by Marco Missinato, who's sitting in with us, and he's going to tell us a little bit about that. Oh yeah, th uh, it's interesting you just pick up that 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 was one of very, my very very first uh, compositions. I, I think I composed that when I was about four or five years old, and then um, and then uh, eventually I I came to a point where I, I started to produce it, and now it's in a kind of strings format, uh, but. Uh, when uh, uh, I will be with my band, uh, it will become probably something else. Great. So we're going to put on one of the pieces, the first piece that we talked about earlier, and um, we're going to play it right now, and then you can tell us about it when sure. we're done. Of course.
That was a lovely piece. Thank you. And what was that one called? That's Anna's theme. And what inspired that? Well, uh, Anna is the name of my mom, my mother, um, who of course I love very much. <laughs> so I guess that was the, the inspiration. The, the in initial inspiration is, uh, again, is, is it something that happened mysteriously. And then uh, you feel, you feel a, a, maybe a picture or a feeling that take you to your mom. So you say, okay, I call it Anna theme. Mm. That's, how, that's how I create the titles. So the next piece we have is another um, more mellow piece. Okay. And then we're going to go into his uh, more world progressive style. So let's, let's listen to that one. That was a lovely piece. And what was that one called? Searching Hearts. So for me, that was really inspirational and in that you could see it being used for so many different reasons. You know, it's background music, it's yes. meditation music. I heard a ballet. I wish I was a choreographer, yeah. oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> of course, of course. So um, what, what did you have in your mind when you were creating that piece? Again, the, the creation of is, the physical of self is a no mind state. So mm -hmm. there is nothing in, actually. If you have something in mind, that's where you you are in the way. <laughs> you want to really be on, not in no in the mind at all. Yeah. And but then later, once you have the melody, then you, it's like to have a child and say, okay, now what kind of clothes we put on this beautiful baby? Mm. You know, you can put elegant clothes, and if the, the baby has a beautiful body, no matter which clothes you put on, it will fit perfectly. Right. So then the choice is the choice later choices about the production so in, in this in this piece that you heard 
I choose a classical clothing, <laughs> so it sounds like more classical. But the same melody can be rock, or can be jazz, or can be, it depends on how you arrange it. Uh, and so the, the piece we're going to listen to in just a moment is one that was a calmer piece. Uh, are you referring to my band, Naked Soul? Yes, yeah, yeah, let's, it was let's talk uh, about your, your band right now. Yes, well, my, my vision, I've been holding the vision of live concerts for healing. Since I, since I, since I can recall, uh, maybe when I was a little child, I didn't call it in that way. But it was uh, the, the the vision to play music and to uh, spread a sensation of love, to dissipate the illusion of separation, because that's what music does: instantly open the heart and dissipate the illusion of separation. Mm -hmm. And I want to do that through a concert, like many other musicians want. That's that's their dream. So that's my uh, next. Uh, uh, stage in my uh, in my journey, uh, which is uh, to with my band and my band Naked Soul um, to create the right circumstances so we can really create a, a couple hours of wonderful show with all these melodies we have, have been creating so far, and then do a, a concert for healing, where the people will come in and will, they will be exposed to a, a very uplifting heart opening experience and then at the same time the money that we collect by per the, the ticket that are sold will go to a good cause it can be go can be children can be uh, any any good cause that is in need mm -hmm. so it's a win-win situation everybody win we win we on the stage and giving the crowd the crowd receive uh, and then what we we collect it goes to to a good cause so that's that's the picture that i i sense i i, I the vision that i have and eventually we want to book uh, the show everywhere in the planet mm -hmm. uh, with the with the musicians and uh and that's that's that feels feels like love to me. Mm -hmm. Well, f right away, if you want to know more about Marco Messinato and his music, or listen, you can listen on the web. You can listen to. 30 seconds of yeah. different cuts? Yeah, it's the same fashion like as iTunes. You right. can listen samples. Yeah. Right, and um, he has six CDs that he's got on his site, and it, the site is called MelodiesFromWithin.com, and that's M-E-L-O-D-I-E-S FromWithin.com. And he's um, going to talk a little bit more with us about how he's taken how have you taken your music and then expanded it into this more progressive style what what inspired that well that that's that's a, a matter of really uh, opening completely yourself again step in a no mind situation and see where the emotion carry you and then is about the the um, uh, relation with the with the musicians. The first step is to uh, convey the idea to the musician. That is it, musicians are healers. Mm -hmm. When they hold their instrument, they are healers. So they once you step in that kind of frame of mind and you open your heart, and then and then I, I tune the instrument with the same frequency of the chakras uh, when it's possible. Uh, and so uh, and that 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 will happen usually so there are moments where the music grows into passion moments that, that grows into love moment grows into sadness and it's a whole dance of different sensation and feelings that eventually the crowd will experience and so that's how the whole uh, uh, naked soul uh, journey uh, is intended um, so Sure. Are we ready to play that piece? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, absolutely. Join us for, uh, Join us for this piece by his band called Naked Soul, and the name of the piece is? I think it's uh, Shine.
Well, that was really beautiful and unexpected. That was Marco Missinato and a beautiful piece. And what was it called? Shine. Shine. And that was a piece that he's done in a different way and then really worked on it and expanded it. And it was great. I can see that piece in concert. So, music as sound healing. We've worked with this subject quite a lot um, on Transformational Tea with Taj because I'm a sound healer in a completely different way than you are. And listening to your music makes you really feel and want to feel. It's almost like you can't do anything but feel when you listen to it. Mm -hmm. And using it in a, a way, using the music as a tool. I know you people listen to it, but if you would use the music as a tool, I mean, as a person listening, you could do a lot of things in freeing yourself of emotions, you know, of things that are blocking you from love. Yeah. Because your music is so filled with love, you know, I can feel that from it. Yeah. Uh, in fact, to me, the definition of he- being a healer is just a, being a lover, meaning just to love. Mm-hmm. And everybody has different ways to love uh, through their own gifts. And there is no exceptions on earth. There is no one person that is not capable of love. And therefore, there is no person that is not capable of healing. Mm. Or being a healer. Right. So, healing is nothing else to tap into your core and then, and then be yourself. And we are all love. Mm. So, it's all about love, really. And when you hold that intention, which I know you do when you're creating, when you're listening, because you have to be in a state of love to allow... Yeah. that energy to work through you and for you to be able to write down the music or to listen to it or however your creative process is um, you have to be in that state yourself you, uh, you, have, you have to again you have to step out from the mind which is a fear based entity uh, the mind is always concerned about what is going to happen next and what, I- what is the result and what if it goes wrong is a, is a, is a, is a operative system that works on tension Mm-hmm. So you just really want to uh, let go and, and uh, get get into a and step into surrendering completely into the trust that um, that there is no such a thing as separation and there is no such a thing as uh, lack of love. There is only abundance and only love. And then from that place, you will be guided to do whatever needs to be done. And earlier we were talking about communication and mastering communication. And um, I had a quote that I said, and I'd like to say it again because actually it's exactly what you're saying in a, in a different way, that, that communication is to create the experience in which two minds come into union. So when people hear your music and, and your message gets across, that's where the minds are coming into union so that one idea or vibration informs both minds and is valued equally by both minds. Yes. So we come into agreement. And when communication succeeds, the mind is transcended, the heart opens, and there is a joining at the level of the soul, at the depth of the mind that far transcends anything which can be uttered by words or even symbolized by words. So music is such a powerful tool. Yeah, it, it, it feels to me music goes even farther than that because communication is still related to mind at a certain level while music is just is, is a vibration so it goes even further the need, there is no even need to communicate you just mm-hmm. have to be and then everything is uh, aligned yeah. you, know, you, you step into the being is, yeah. I, I am yeah. <laughs> and that's anything else will be okay yeah definitely because then when you have to use words to express something that there are no words for yeah it, it does uh, create a separation right there absolutely yeah. yeah well your music is really wonderful thank you and once again if you want to know more about Marco Misinato you can check him out on his website melodiesfromwithin.com that's m-e-l-o-d-i-e-s fromwithin.com he's going to be on Kauai until the 20th of August and so you're, um, if you want to call him to sure. learn about his music or talk to him about music you can reach him at um, uh, 323-791 7877 or melodiesfromwithin.com Yes. We want to thank you so much for joining us sure. today. Thank you. And we're thank going to play gosh. one more piece. Oh, wonderful. And thank you. aloha. Aloha.
that is Marco Misinato with The Abandonment. And we are so happy to have had him as our guest here today on Transformational Tea with Taj. This is KKCR Hanalei, KAQA Kilauea, 90.9 FM Hanalei, 91.9 FM Island Wide, worldwide at www.kkcr.org. <laughs> 